welcome to a new tutorial of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these beautiful coasters. Um, they're really easy to make. You can use the Scheepjes Katona just like I did for um, the whole set. I'm going to explain everything inside of the video, what you need. Um, it is, I'm not sure if I've mentioned that, I think so, but I'm not quite sure. Um, this is a, a number two weight yarn. Um, yeah, I think it's a number, yeah, it's a number two. Um, so if you want to make yours, um, and you're using a DK or a, um, uh, number three yarn, then they will be a lot bigger. Uh, then these if you're using a smaller yarn like a thread then they will be smaller, but I think that's um, That's obvious anyhow um, Please enjoy watching this video and uh, let me know down below into the comment section of this video what you think um, please give me th that thumbs up uh, do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel. There is there are a lot more uh, English tutorials, at least I'm trying to do my very best in English, uh, tutorials on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to put the playlist of all the English tutorials that I have at the very end of this video. For now, please enjoy and um, show all your coasters. I love to see them. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the Scheepjes Katona. I'm going to use the mini versions of the uh, 50 gram skeins. This is a 25 gram skein and all these four colors are just 10 gram skeins. They're really small. Look at that. Okay, um, if you want to make a set of six coasters and you want to do this exactly the same as I did, then you will need 24 grams of the white and this is color 106 this skein is a 25 gram skein and 62.5 meters now for these three colors you'll need four grams per color the katona 238 powder pink 403 lemonade 226 light orchid and for this one you need for the whole set six grams color number 392 which is lime juice if you want to make um, uh, a solid one i just made um uh, one with different colors as you can see here um, this is just one example I have this one and this now I made two of these two of these and two of these and this one still needs the all the uh, ends to be shown in but um, yeah that's what you need if you want to make the whole set if you want to make them just in one color you will need 42 grams of this yarn um it is a number two yarn i think it's not on the skein but i think this is a number two yarn um three and a half millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors um, a darning needle to sew in all your ends and if you um, prefer to use a stitch marker you can um, mark the beginning of your round with this with or with some like this beautiful stitch marker okay um, let's get started oh sorry I forgot to mention one thing Mine is 11 centimeters or just almost four and a half inches. It actually is four, four point, 
four inches. Yeah. Okay, so this is what you will need to make a set of six coasters. Start with a magic circle. There you go. If you find it hard to do a magic circle, then just do a chain of four stitches four chain stitches um, and make it a circle by slip stitching into the very first stitch yeah so into the very first chain then um, 12 half double crochet into the circle yarn over Insert your hook into the circle, grab your yarn, now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is your very first half double crochet and in this tutorial we're working with US terms. Now, If you find it easier then place your stitch marker in the top of this very first stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through all three. We need 12 of these half double crochet stitches. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and number twelve. Now pull on your tail end. Do this gentle because you don't want your yarn to snap. There you go. Close this round by slip stitching into the very first half double crochet. If you find it hard to see what the first half double crochet is, then count backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and here it is, number 12 or your number 1. Be sure that you have both strands of yarn on top of your hook like that, grab your yarn and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. This was your very first um, round. Chain 2. The chain 2 counts as a unfinished double crochet. Yarn over. And make a double crochet into the same stitch. So if you, this is where you close the round. They, so you have a little small hole there. That is the same stitch. So into that little small hole you're putting your hook in. Uh, yarn over first, put your hook in, grab your yarn. Uh, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Now chain, I forgot, I have to look at my, chain three, one, two, three. I am so sorry, it needs to be a chain two. So, um, yeah, chain two. Now, the next one, two a double crochet together in the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go back to the same stitch, insert your hook, 
grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Chain two. And this is the repetition of this round. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, an unfinished half, sorry, unfinished double crochet. So two loops on the hook, and then stop, yarn over again, go back to the same stitch, another unfinished double crochet, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and then chain two. And chain two. Okay, now um, you started off with 12 of these half double crochet stitches in the first round. So in this round, you will need um, to end up with 12 petals. So 12 of the um, two half double crochets together and the chain two in between them. And when I did them all, I will be back um, at the end of this round. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these petals. I did the chain two, and then I will be slip stitching on top of the very first double crochet at the beginning of this round. So grab your yarn and pull through. Now, if you're making this one in a solid color, so you're not doing the color changes that I'm going to show you in this uh, tutorial, but you just want to have one like this, just in one color. Then go to the next space here and slip stitch in there. All right? And then wait. Do not cut your yarn if you're working with one color. If you are working just like me in um, more colors, then chain one and then leave a little bit of a tail end and cut your yarn and pull through. There you go. Now, I'm getting my white yarn, but use the color that you choose to um, for your second color. Start off with a slip knot on your hook, and if you are doing this with your um, with just one color, you can skip this part, this little part. Then insert your hook into just a space, not where you ended, because you don't want to have uh, all the um, sewn in yarn ends at this, in the same space. Just go to another chain space, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull through. And basically this is uh, exactly the same as where uh, you are at the point we're doing the um, solid one. Then chain three for your very first double crochet. In my Dutch tutorial, I also showed another way when you're working with um, more colors. And I'm going to show you guys the same technique. So um, start off with a slip knot on your hook. Skip this if you are working with a solid one, okay? I'm just going to show you an. In every tutorial, I'm trying to, um, well, learn you guys something new or a little extra. You know what I mean? All right. Now, start off with the slip knot on your hook, yarn over, and hold it down with your index finger. Then go to one of these spaces, insert your hook. Grab your yarn, still holding down 
the uh, stitches then place your other index finger there so you can let this go yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two in Dutch this is called a staans stokje um, I'm not sure what it is called in English um, standing double crochet I have no clue but it is another technique to do a double crochet right now just going back to this part of just attaching the yarn and doing the chain three so it is up to you how you want to attach the yarn um, when you're working with more colors all right um, now if you're working uh, this one or working with just a solid color this is the part where we start again yarn over and two double crochets into the same space one two so now you have three double crochets into this chain space chain one skip the stitches but go to the next chain space and three double crochets into the next chain space one two and three then chain one skip go to the next chain space and three double crochets one two three chain one and this is what you do all the way around till you are at the very beginning of this round just three double crochets per chain space one two three and chain one one two three chain one all the way around till you're here last stitch I did is a chain one and then I'm going to close this round with a slip stitch in the third um, chain at the beginning of this round but if you are working with just one color then don't do the chain one still go to the third chain at the beginning of this round insert your hook and make a single crochet I'm going to show you guys single crochet there you go we're doing this because we want to uh, start our new round uh, into the chain space here if you um, if you would do just the chain one and then the slip stitch then you are not able to work into this space and you need to go with slip stitches to the next space um, I don't like that so therefore I decided to do um, just a single crochet if you're working with just one color All right but as I am as I am working with more colors than just one I'm going to do the chain one and the slip stitch into the third chain at the beginning of this round and then a chain one and then I'm going to cut my yarn and pull through so not do not cut your yarn if you're working with one color right um, next round is the um, green and the lime um, lime juice color number 392 if you're working with the Scheepjes Katona start off with a slip knot on your hook you don't do that when you're working with just one color then attaching the yarn into one of the chain spaces there you go um, and 
either if you're working with one color or just the next color, the um, green one, for example, that I'm using, then do a chain three. The chain three counts as a double crochet. Then another chain three, one, two, three, and that is for the chain three space that, uh, that we will be working in all the next stitches. Yarn over and into the same chain space a double crochet. There you go. Then a chain one. Go to the next chain space, double crochet, chain three, and double crochet into the same chain space, chain one. Next chain space, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain one. And this is what you do all the way around, working in the chain one spaces of the previous round. So, one more time, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, and do not forget that chain one. Right? All the way around till you're here. Okay, all the way around I did the chain one. Then go to the first one here. So the little triangle at the beginning of this round. You do not have to try to find the third stitch. Just go into the space grab your yarn and pull through and this is for um, the same for uh, the if you're doing one in a one color or if you're doing it in multiple colors like I am doing right here. Now for um, uh, my version I'm going to do the chain one to secure and then I'm cutting the yarn. There you go. As you can see, mine is not completely flat. Can you see that? It is just a little like that. Don't worry. Um, it'll be all fine after the next and final round. Right? Attaching the yarn. If you're working with uh, another color, this is my the same color as my second color. For me, this is white. Right, so attaching the yarn just like that. And then a chain three. One, two, three. The chain three is. Um, the very first double crochet. In every of the chain three spaces we will be crocheting six double crochet. So this is number one, two, three, four, five and number six then go to the chain one space which is here and make a single crochet insert your hook grab your yarn yarn over and pull through two now into the next chain three space here six double crochet one two three, four, five, six. Chain one space, single crochet. And this is what you do all the way around. Six doubles into the chain three space, two, three, four, five, six, 
5, and 6, and a single crochet around the chain 1 space. There you go. Like I said, all the way around till you are here, and then I'm going to show you guys how to close off this round. I did the last panel, then into the last chain 1 space a single crochet, then go to the very first stitch here, which is the uh, chain 3 that you did at the beginning of this round. In top of the chain 3, insert your hook, grab your yarn, and pull through. Then chain, your, chain 1 and cut your yarn. There you go. And all you need to do now is sew in all your ends and be sure that you do it on the wrong side of your work. So this is the right side, this is the wrong side. Work all your um, uh, yarn threads and then you're ready. So I'm going to do that. I still have um, two and this one I did in my Dutch video, I have to do three of them. Um, all the other three are already done. And then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like in the complete set. So, um, don't hate me if, if you did all the um, ones with uh, more colors, because then you have like a lot of yarn ends to sew in. I love you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. See you in a minute. This is what my set of these beautiful little coasters looks like. Um, I loved to work on these coasters. Um, they're colorful, they're cheerful, and um, I'm glad I made them in these uh, happy colors. If you are making these coasters then please do not forget to um, add them to all your social media and please do not forget to mention uh, the designer which is made by Seam um, so everyone can go uh, to the tutorial and make their own uh, beautiful set of uh, coasters. I think they are um, beautiful to give as a gift or for fairs if you're going to a fair that you um, can sell these. I think they're really good and easy to make for, um, for fairs. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're going to make your own set, let me know. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook group made by Steam Headquarters. I know that a lot on my Facebook, our Facebook group is in Dutch, but luckily Facebook does the translation for us all. So um, um, I'm sure that, you know, uh, you can follow along. Anyhow, please, when you're going to make these, do not forget to enjoy. Bye for now. Alright, we're going to start off with a um, <coughs> coffee. We're starting this tutorial off by the, taking a big sip of our coffee. Mm -hmm. 